Good day, ladies and gentlemen. If you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm fixing Vice City Stadium. Now, what the hell is Vice City Stadium, you might ask? Vice City Stadium is a beta content stage that was uh, probably an arena that was used in GTA Vice City. Uh, the GTA San Andreas team, that is Rockstar Games, what they did, they lazily copied um, Blood Bowl, I mean, sorry, Vice Stadium, and then they turned it into Blood Bowl. What I'm doing here, I'm making a little fix, and this fix will be available for all mappers. However, it will have its bugs and warnings that people should really be aware of. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to make sure I did that right. Okay, and what the what is the bug fix? Well, you will see in a second. So, if we realize there's a door right here with more detail in it, and if you remove the object, you totally see there's a door there with more detail of it. Now. What I want to show you is why this map is really poor and why it basically sucks. So here we go. We're going to start with Vice Stadium and I'm going to talk about it more. So remember, Vice City is from Vice City, sorry, Vice Stadium is from Vice City itself, the previous expansion of GTA San Andreas. I know it's not an expansion, it's more of a sequel, but you know what I'm saying. Now, if you go here, the only thing that's solid is this huge square along with that platform over there. You can clearly see that we have full collision and everything's all right, okay, dokey. There's no way you can jump out of this stage, really, unless you go here and the other stump over there and you just go do this. If you do this, what happens is you're fucked. There's not, nothing solid beyond there. And before I show you the fix of that version, let me explain how I fixed the version. So we'll be going to Blood Bowl, but we'll be showing you some little differences here. If you look at the arena from afar, you can totally see how the arena looks like. You can see the lightning, the light that's around here. You can see that little box there. You can see the ground. You can see this is all one object. You can see that this is all one object. Uh, this belongs to the object. The fence is this object and that object. So all this, what I just clicked in red, is one object, this is one object on its own, and so on and so forth. Now if we go to Blood Bowl, which is located right here, you'll notice a huge difference in Blood Bowl. The light is different. It is no longer just one object, not one road. It's several objects, one after the other. And the fence is not a part of this anymore. Instead, instead th these two are separate from the fence. The fence is no longer a part of the stadium. Uh, the middle is different as well. It has its own little ground, as you can see, separated from the other objects. The 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 house right here is also separate and on its own. It, it's not a part of the road. So as you can see, Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl is clearly different. Uh, the most noticeable difference, I'd say, is the middle, of course, where the ground here is higher than in Vice Stadium, which is another thing I could not fix, and I will show you why I could not fix it and the racetrack. The racetrack, I will give you a, a drive comparison so you can see what it looks like to drive in Vice City Stadium compared to uh, Blood Bowl Stadium. And if you need a map with Blood Bowl fully functioning, I already got it. Uh, I already done Blood Bowl for, for to be a Blood Bowl, like an arena where you fight to the death, but I've also added a racetrack to it where people will be able to race. Um, this Blood Bowl, if you notice, it's dark everywhere you go, and there's light only here. Uh, pay attention to that light, though. Just pay attention to it, memorize it, put it in the back of your head, and uh, just just memorize it. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, yeah, if you if we keep going around, this is basically it, and we're back. Uliara. Now, what about the Vice Stadium? What's different about Vice Stadium? What are the bugs of Vice Stadium that I'm talking about? Well, you'll see that in just a moment. In Vice Stadium, I've done everything. I've imported every object from Blood Bowl, and this is what you see. You see these. You see this issue with the with the textures colliding together. I've tried to fix that, and I've tried to make them disappear as much as as much possible as much as possible as I could and uh, as you can see you, you can't see any of them when you and when you look from the camera from afar then you start seeing them and uh, I can't really get rid of that I would have to make the object invisible in order to do that but you know me my rule is I will not delete any original objects so what I did was 
I took every object from Blood Bowl and I and I added them into this area to make the entire ground solid. And if you notice, the light here is different, which is the real only benefit of Bi Stadium, that in the middle. And right here, if you notice the ground, um, the ground I've added for it to make it solid is underneath, and it also it's also kind of um, it's damp in the middle. It's it's lower. It looks like a bomb landed there and just you know, squish the ground downward. I think that's the only change that they changed from Vice Stadium compared to the original Buffalo. The middle was no longer like that. It was just different. So let me show you the racetrack in comparison to Blood Bowls and we'll start from the same place we started in Blood Bowl from here. So here we go. We're going to test the fixed version of the Vice Stadium and I'm going to show you what um, you should care about if you're a server administrator, if you're a scripter, what you should fix, what you shouldn't fix, so on and so forth. There's more lightning, there's more light, sorry, in this stadium than there is in Blood Bowl. You can clearly see that. Uh, the second thing is this here object that I've added into this object is all right. Uh, this wall right here is an original wall, so that's from the original server, cre uh, original GTA San Andreas team. So that's an original object, and there's no fix for that unless you can make an original object invisible somehow and leave the custom object I placed over here. But if you do that, then I can then you can't add a door here, which is a damn shame, and you'll lose that little exit sign up there, as you can see. Um, right here, there's light on the ra racetrack compared to Blood Bowl, which makes it a nice, very nice, exciting racetrack. And if you look to your left, you'll see this little, um, uh, you'll see the custom objects, textures, battling the uh, original ones. And that's because I've added uh, all the floors to, to buy stadium in order to make everything solid. But now because of that, um, the closer you get, those little issues disappear, but the further you are, they appear from afar. But there's a fix for that. If you're a scripter, if you're a administrator, that one that works on the server and that can, you know, do things to the server, all you have to do is find that object, make it invisible on your server, and boom, you, you will have it fixed. Those things will not appear and you will have a solid stadium. I know that we can change textures on servers with, you know, when you access a server. So this is just a hint of what you could do and you could get a free racetrack. Uh, you could race around in this racetrack and with light on it and it, it's just beautiful. It's perfect that you can do that. If you want to see this place with a racing sign and everything else, I'll be working in Vice Stadium in the future. I'll be making this into a racetrack. Uh, it will be different than Blood Bowl because Blood Bowl is a racetrack on its own. Uh, this racetrack, I will, I will have more grand plans for it, but I'm not really sure what it is. For me, this map it needs to be an arena and a racing track. Uh, Blood Bowl is also an arena and a racing track, but it's a racing. Uh, it's sorry, it's an arena with vehicles, not with the players. So that being said, uh, this will be released for mappers, and the mappers will be able to do whatever the hell they want here. Uh, so this map is the first map that will be both MTA and. and, and Multi theft auto and also uh, SAMP. So both MMTA and multi theft auto can use this arena because everything in this stadium that I've added for the fix is actually a, an original object. So, you, you know, we, you both win, right? I'd, I'm not really a player of MTA, but. Um, you know, hey, if, if this helps you guys, and if you want a map now in Vice Stadium that's solid, and this helps you a lot, please, by all means, just have fun with it, right? Uh, I'm, I'm just here to give you a map. Uh, this floor right here will be bucked. As I told you, it, it, it's dent. It, it's lower. The Blood Bowl floor is lower compared to the uh, original Vice Stadium one. As you can see, it's even different in texture. Kind of a difference in design. You'll, you'll notice that. So. This will be bugged on your server unless you add an object. I think MTA, it's not hard for you guys to find uh, a custom floor. I mean, if it is, just try 8661. That's one of my favorites. Uh, and you'll clearly notice that CJ falls to the ground here. As I said, I, I tried raising that floor up and 
it, it just swallows that floor. Um, it, 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 it was a, it was a bitch. It was, it was above the ground. I can show you if you want what I mean, and, but that's all you need to know about this one. If, if you go around the arena, you'll no, totally notice that there's these textures meddling, just like on the racetrack. However, here it gets much, much worse because the ground is much, much larger. But this house is solid. You can clearly see my bike scraping the wall. Well, you can't see my bike. You can see an invisible bike, but you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, the reason I'm invisible is because CJ is in a different interior. Uh, so, yeah. Other than that, um, there's music in this arena, yes, but I disabled music so my YouTube does not bother me with copyright. And if you noticed, I kind of, I kind of um, went up that platform with my bike. Uh, that's probably because this little thing is leaned. Oh, it is leaned. Oh, maybe that's my fault then. Let's go check that before, before I release this map and do anything stupid. So let's see. There's mistakes in mapping, you know. You know that's that's common. Okay, so the ground is underneath here. Oh, it is a minus one. Okay, maybe that's the problem. Alrighty then. So let's go up. Ah, okay, so there you go. You can clearly see the issue. Uh, this is what I was talking about. I think that's why I was trying to lean it. Uh, okay, let's try. You see, if 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 you merge it. And if you lower it, if you lower it, that's the best I could get from that. So let's try it again, one last time, shall we? And then I'll release this video and you can have your beautiful fix and do whatever the hell you want. And if you see this video, uh, remember this map is available for MTA. It's also available for San Andreas Multiplayer. Okay, so I sank again. As I said, the object is clearly different. Everything's now closed around me. I'm looking, I'm looking, and yeah, um, I mean, it's it's better than what it previously was, but the object is different. Uh, it's a different object, different comparison. I tried to fix this, and it's fixed. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the best I could have done for the Vice Stadium fix. Please enjoy this map for download, and have a good day. And remember, if you're a big fan of GTA and keeping the community alive, this map is for you. If you need an object to make this ground solid, but you don't want a texture over it, I would recommend that you put the object 8661. It has a texture on one side that's textureless, and it will just make this arena solid. Thank you, and have a good day.